this is lovely lovebird designs. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a boa on the rainbow loom for your Betty Boop. And you can use it for a host of other characters and designs if you want. It's This one is a red boa and this one I used glitter bands and I want to make a black boa for this one. You can use any color colors, combinations, make it rainbow. You can also make it like a scarf around her head or anything like that. It's awesome. And I also, this is the same technique that I used for my Clydesdale. This is my adult Clydesdale. And the tail is the same technique that I used. And the little Clydesdale to the single loom. It's the same technique. So let's get started. You need a single loom and it doesn't need to be in a staggered position or anything like that. It just has, you're only using one pin bar. Okay, you need around 13 bands to go straight down and then depending on how thick you want your boa, it depends on that. This one I used three bands. I put on each pin and then I loomed it. So if you want it thinner, like a little bit less fluffy, you can put two bands. If you want it more, you can put four bands. And then you can also, if you want, don't want it this long, width-wise, you can snip it at the end too to make it thinner too, more like a scarf. So I'm going to take a single band and I'm just placing it down the row. It's very easy and simple and fun. Okay, at the end, you need one single band, wrap three times around, you can do four if you'd like also. And this is the part where you can use different colored bands. I'm going to use just plain black and placing on each pin, putting three on each pin. And if you want to do like two black, one red, you know, different colors, whatever matches your, your creation's dress. Jazz it up and have some fun with the design. I'm just going straight down the row. Okay, you can push these down too. Okay, and then one more set of three. Okay, so now we're going to loom, loop it forward, up the row, and don't loop any of these, just the little single row at the bottom. So we're going to go under the capping band. And bring it forward. Okay, one of my bands fell off, so I'll just place it back on. Okay, 
Alright, so now you're done. Now place this last set of three, just like that, to the right side. And take it off the loom. Okay, now you don't need the loom anymore. And you have the end bands, make a little slip knot. It's a little knot at the end. Okay, so now it looks like this. We're going to pull all the bands to the right or to the left. Just pull them all to one side. And you will need a scissor now. Just pull everything to one side. Okay, so it looks like this. So now I'm going to take my first bunch of three and it's including this band right here, the end band that we did the slip knot. We're pulling that out and we're going to take our scissor and we're just going to clip the end just like that. Keep your thumb on it and you take your bands and just make a knot. And one single knot. So now you have that. So now we're going to go each one down and take your second set of three. Hold it tight like that. Just one at a time. Clip it. And tie a knot. Okay, you can see it's beginning to be like a boa now. Let's get the third set. Clip. And tie a knot. I'm just going to keep on doing the same pattern, same technique, all the way down until we get the last set of three. Almost at the end. If one of yours comes out and it doesn't, you lose like one of the bands, you can just re put it in and then tie another knot. Couple more left. And it's the same technique that I used to make the tail on the Clyde's tail. Here it is. So stretch it out and you have a cute little boa.
for your Rainbow Loom doll. So if you don't want it this thick, you can trim it up a little bit, but just make sure you don't clip the structural the bands in the middle, just the edge. So now let's put it on Betty Boop with the black dress and see how it looks. Looks awesome. She's all ready to go out and have a night on the town. So here's Betty Boop with the red and the red boa. It's really cool. And here's Betty with the fuchsia dress with her glitter boa. And I use white bands for the inside. I think if you want to use, I think a solid color. Like if I, I would, if I redid this one, I would use the um, glitter bands for this, so it meshes a little bit more. So and this is a boa for Betty. I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Love for Designs. Bye. Take a single band, and I'm just placing it down the row. It's very easy and simple and fun. Okay, at the end, you need one single band, wrap three times around, you can do four if you'd like also, and this little Clyde steel too, the single loom, it's the same technique. So let's get started, you need a single loom, and it doesn't need to be in a staggered position or anything like that, it just has, you're only using one pin bar. Okay, you need around 13 bands to go straight down and then depending on how thick you want your boa it depends on that. This one I used three bands I put on each pin and then I loomed it. So if you want it thinner like a little bit less fluffy you can put two bands if you want it more you can put four bands and then you can also if you don't want it this long width wise you can snip it at the end too to make it thinner too, more like a scarf. So when this is the part where you can use different colored bands, I'm going to use just plain black and placing on each pin, putting three on each pin. And if you want to do like two black, one red, you know, different colors, whatever matches your your creation's dress. Jazz it up and have some fun with the design. I'm just going straight down the row. Okay, you can push these down too. Hello, this is Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a boa on the rainbow loom for your Betty Boop. And you can use it for a host of other characters and designs if you want. It's This one is a red boa, and this one I used glitter bands, and I want to make a black boa for this one. You can use any color colors, combinations, make it rainbow. You can also make it like a scarf around her head or anything like that. It's awesome. And I also, this is the same technique that I used for my Clydesdale. This is my adult Clydesdale. And the tail is the same technique that I used. And the...
Okay, and then one more set of three. Okay, so now we're going to loom, loop it forward, up the row, and don't loop any of these, just the little single row at the bottom. So we're gonna